Radio Rahim with Brad and Bam Bam Rios at Robert Garcia Boxing Academy, the brand new facility. First of all, uh, how do you like training here as opposed to the, uh, the original joint? Uh, you know, it's better to train home. Uh, why not? Man? I love training at home. It's always good to train at home. And so it's great to be here at home. Uh, one more thing about the training, you know, you are fighting overseas, you're going to be all the way over in China, the Pacquiao camp is over there because they say the jet lag is something that they don't want to deal with, has it's that right. concerned you at all? It's alright, we got two weeks to get used to it, so no, it doesn't really concern me at all, uh, uh, I was there a lot uh, and we, I got used to jet lag quick, it's not, not going to be that bad, uh, most people don't like it, some people do, uh, to me it don't bother me, when it's time to fight, it's time to fight. Now you look very relaxed and comfortable, obviously you're at home. This is definitely the biggest fight that you've ever had in your career. So much more fanfare. Talk to me about like the build up to this fight, how it's been different from any other fight. Well the build up to the fight has been great, you know. Uh, I'm ready, 100%. Uh, uh, I'm, just, I'm just very excited that I get my big opportunity to fight uh, one of the best fighters in the world, man. I've been waiting for this opportunity for a long time. Now it's my time. I think it's, it's the right moment of my career to step up. And it's time to step up and I'm ready to take that step. In that original press conference when we talked, you know, you and Pacquiao seem to be friends. You chummed around China once already. But since then, as would happen in fights, there's been a little bit of back and forth, a little war of the words. Uh, how do you feel about the way not only the Pacquiao camp is taking you, but the press is taking you? It kind of uh, seeming like uh, a stepping stone. What do you mean the little words of words between our camp? Uh, Pacquiao has not to me. I have not to Pacquiao. I'm just saying that I'm ready. I got, I got to go and retire him. You know, it's my time. Uh, I think he done great in his career. Nobody can take that away from him. He he became a well, eight-time world champion in eight different weight divisions. Nobody can say they've done that. He can say he done that. But I think it's it's my time now. I'm young. I'm hungry, and I I want it. And you know, for the media's sake and everybody out there, all the critics, hey, you know, what? I don't give a fuck about them. They can, I don't care. They can say they can speak all they want to. I just at the end of the day, um, November 24th, I'm just gonna shut them up and show these motherfuckers don't doubt me ever again. What I was referring to in the War of Words, uh, you said something about proving a Pacquiao, that there's no God, and you know, you're going to retire him. Uh, those are some pretty strong terms. Uh, what you had to say about Max uh, Kellerman, the, the guys are talking about the Ruslan Provodnikov fight already looking past you. That's what I mean. I mean, does that get under your skin at all? Does that irritate you? It does irritate me because Pacquiao haven't gotten in the ring yet with me yet. That gives me more motivation to, like, to shut everybody's hopes down and shut everybody's, like, what their the comments and everything, all the theory. That that's that's what gave me that motivation and everything because this guy haven't fought he hasn't fought through me yet and he hasn't fought me yet and they, they think I'm a punching bag, I'm a tuna fight. I ain't nobody's tuna fight and I ain't nobody's punching bag. Uh I'm not a sparring partner either, so uh, I'm a fighter, and I come to fight, and when I fight, I, everybody knows that. I bring my heart and soul in this shit, and my balls is always, I'm always ready to fight. Now, their justification for those theories that you talk about is because it seems stylistically that you're, you match up perfectly for Pacquiao. Like, yeah, they put you in front of him because you're going to do what he needs you to do. Come forward, be aggressive, no angles, and you're just a, a straightforward, you know, brawler, not a boxer. Do you intend to change anything about your style in support? Surprise people on November 23rd. I'm just ready to fight. Robert and his dad be coming up with a, a great game plan. And I'm just going to show the world. Look, Chavez Jr., you know, Chavez Sr., the way he fought. He fought the, I got the same style as him. He comes to fight and he's always bringing all he got. And he moved different angle. He's always aggressive. He was the one that was uh, always ready. I'm, I'm like that too. I'm always ready to come for whatever outcome he brings. Uh, I'm ready for the, the storm. I'm ready for the tornado. I'm ready for the desert, disaster. I'm ready for anything he brings. I'm ready, man. Uh, that's why I work hard in the gym. This is why I win the fights in the gym. When I go fight, it's play nighttime. For Pacquiao to so what, somewhat redeem himself, uh, there's talk of him coming out more aggressive, needing a knockout based on him having been knocked out last time, and you not being the boxer that could get a scorecard decision. Are you coming in there? to knock Manny Pacquiao out, and if not, how would you plan to work to a decision? What kind of advantages do you have in there? I'm going in there to win the fight. That's my job. That's what I'm doing. I'm not thinking knockout, I'm not thinking this and that. If it comes, good. If it doesn't, it's okay. We got 12 rounds to play with. I'm going into China, and I'm going to win. Uh, that's all in my mind is win. I don't see nothing else. I don't see an L. I don't see nothing but a win. And to beat him, 
I got to beat them convincingly to show the judge. I just got to do what I do to all my opponents, wear them down, uh, be the one that's wearing everybody down. So that's what I'm doing, and that's what I'm getting ready for to win. You sound focused, ready, calm. Brandon Rios, good luck on November 23rd. Radio Raheem with Bam Bam. Brandon Rios.